Eight months ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Sarah will come home, slamming doors, and start with verbal abuse right away on her mother. I call my mom bitch, everything that could, could possibly think of. I went through 12 rounds of chemotherapy and 33 radiations. Now that she has had cancer, she threw her own like sympathy party and expected everyone, oh, feel bad for me. I mean, millions of people have cancer. It's like, I'm not gonna wait on you hand and foot. We're not gonna shine your shoes and brush your hair that's gone. My mom has used her cancer to gain sympathy from people. I feel like my mom just likes to play the victim in every situation she possibly can. I feel like she is making a bigger deal about her cancer than it really is. Sarah's upset whenever she doesn't get all the attention. It's all about Sarah all the time. I feel like my mom thinks the world should revolve around her because of her cancer. I don't think she thinks it does. I think she thinks it damn well should, but it is not going to in my world. Okay. Kristen, Ralph, um, uh, good to meet you. Sorry for the circumstance. We have an empty chair here because Sarah now is backstage refusing to come on. What's your biggest fear? That my daughters both are gonna die and that that baby's gonna be either permanently damaged or not alive. We've been talking about Sarah. You have another daughter. Sadie, Sadie. yes. Sadie is um, using drugs as well. Yes, yeah, Sadie's in the same position as Sarah, minus the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Minus the pregnancy. And you have concerns for this unborn child, right? Of course. And this child now is, we're guessing, seven months into the pregnancy. Yes, sir. So certainly viable mm -hmm. uh, at this point. And your daughter is ingesting all manner of drugs. I mean, some we know about and some we probably don't know about. Yeah. And listen, the, the baby gets blood and oxygen supply from the mother through the placenta, and what she takes in and puts in her blood goes through and goes to the baby. For example, this heroin that she's talking about using, we have found research indicates that the, the level of toxicity within the baby can be between 50 and 100% of what's in the mother. So the baby's using drugs. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and your daughter also smokes. Yeah. Yes. 4,000 chemicals in tobacco, 60 known carcinogens, all of these things going right through to the baby as well. Yeah. Um, so is this an emergent situation to you? Is this something that you consider to be an emergent crisis? Absolutely, without a doubt. It do, has do to be Do you agree? Now. I do agree. This was an emergency a while ago, and has been. So yeah. yes, it is at a crisis point right now. Mm -hmm. Well, here she comes. Oh, thank you. You're a liar. I didn't say, do it. what am I lying about? What happened? Are you serious? I'm <clears throat> glad you're out here, because I want you. Now's the time. Go ahead. No, continue. I want to hear this. Please. OK. Sarah, I'm Dr. Phil, by the way. I know who you are. You don't want to shake my hand? Okay. Let me tell you what. You know what? We can do this easy or we can do it hard. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.